Hello, it's Danielle and I am back with my week three of Project Life. So I'm going to be using two Design A page protectors and I have my photos printed out and I printed those all out at 4 by 6 So I'm not going to be putting any in the 3 by 4 pockets and I'm keeping them really plain. I'm not going to do any embellishing on them or writing on them. I didn't type on them, anything like that. It's just going to be a pretty plain week. And I do a lot of writing this week, which sometimes I do and sometimes I don't do. So overall, overall pretty plain though. Now I'm getting my cards down where I think they'll look good. And a lot of these cards came from the Dear Lizzie Polka Dot Party edition of Project Life. It's one of those mini packs that have 100 cards in them. And then there's a few cards that came from a couple other kits, but I'll point those out as I get to them. So I'm starting out with my title card. These are the cards that I got from One Little Bird from the lilypad.com, and I really like them. I'm excited to be using them throughout this year. This week, I chose to just keep it as it was. So the first week, I colored, um, I, I pulled that card into Photoshop and colored it a different color to match, to match my layout. And then last week, I shrunk it down a little bit to use on my layout. But this week I just kept it black and I just, I kept it how, how it came and just printed it out how it was. And I'm using some Memento Lux ink and gray flannel to get the dates down on that card. And I'll be using that ink a couple other times throughout the layout. All right, this card right here came from a Scraptastic This Life Noted kit. And I'm really just writing down how my daughter loves to play with beads. Um, she has like pony beads and big, huge, giant perler beads, and she just organizes them by color all the time. It's She loves to just sit there and organize those darn beads. And she likes to organize them on this tree house that she's playing with. We got that from a friend, and it's a Melissa and Doug tree house, and it comes with a... Uh, uh, like little people that you can play with on it. It's super cute, but she just stacks bowls and cups on the different layers and organizes her beads. So um, I wish, sometimes I wish she would just play with it, but, but oh well, it's what she likes to do. So that is totally fine. So this next card that I'm putting together, um, the, the, the word smile that I used came from a different Project Life card. It came from a card in the Dear Lizzie edition. And I didn't want to use the card that it came on. I wanted it to be on this bright white card. So I just cut it out and then adhered it to this card. Basically what I'm saying is I'm just excited that my One Little Word kit came this week. And, and I'm happy to be joining that class again this year. All right. So this pink and white polka dot card is my absolute favorite. I love it. I think it's so cute. And I keep this one really pretty, just simple and pretty. Um, I use that metal rim circle tag and then put this chipboard heart on it that came from Studio Calico and then just get that on the card. And I, I think that looks really cute. I really like it. And then on the white card, I'm just going to take my pen and outline it a few times just to give it some interest. And then I'm really just writing how on her cast are the names of some of the people that love her most. And I think it's really fun. She didn't have that cast on for very long. So that really just shows a glimpse of who's in her life the most right now. And I think that's fun to kind of see and um, it will be fun to look back on. And because her cast wasn't on for very long, it like it stayed clean and pretty and it's just, I had a cast when I was little that had to stay on for a long time and the thing is absolutely filthy, but um, this one, it, it's just, it stayed nice and pretty and those names are, I think look really cute on it. So she got her cast off this week and I just snapped this photo of her doctor's appointment and you can see that she has a little bit of a distressed look on her face. Um, it, it really hurt her to get her cast taken off, so much so that the doctor had us go get an x-ray when we were done. And um, he called us back and told us that it's still healing. It's, it's, not, quite, it's not quite better yet. However, he does think it's good enough that, that they definitely don't necessarily need to recast her, but moreover, just be careful for the next week or so which made me chuckle because she's a three-year-old <laughs> who runs and trips and falls. and But um, we're just keeping a close eye on her. 
but it really it just it wasn't her day and there was a card that came in my studio calico project life kit this month that said it was one of those days i didn't like the card that it came on so i just cut each of the words out and i'm gluing them down on this card I first started gluing them down with some Tombow liquid adhesive, but it was kind of messy. So I got out my Zig glue pen and it seemed to do the job much better. Then once I get those words glued down, I start working on this card. And this Today card came from um, the blush edition of Project Life. And I'm just, I'm basically just writing down what I just told you about how she just, it hurt her to take it off and, and it actually wasn't quite, quite healed yet. And you'll see here, I started writing that story and I ran out of room. And so I, I took out another card and I'm just um, shortening that up a little bit. And this is, I don't know, this is where I struggle. Sometimes I think if I'm writing down so much that it won't fit on one of these cards, then maybe this is a story that I should just be making like a 12 by 12 layout to put in her to put in her um, album or our family album, depending on the story. And I'm still finding that balance of what stories I should put in Project Life and what stories I should be making 12 by 12 layouts um, with. And it's, it's hard for me because I want to put everything into Project Life, but I don't necessarily want to duplicate stories by putting them into Project Life and making layouts for. So I'm still working at finding that balance. Um, I, there, Allie Edwards had a post on her, um, on her blog that she asked herself questions like, what do I want to remember most and what stories do I want to remember? And that's a good question to ask as I'm doing these weeks and I need to do that more often. So this picture is of my husband and daughter playing. It was so cute. I heard my daughter giggling from the other room as I was making dinner and I ran in there to snap a photo and it was so cute. They were playing with her dollhouse and my husband had brought her out her little stuffed animal goofy and was just being super silly with her and it was just it was just a really cute moment and I think this picture is really cute too. It's one of my it's one of my favorites from the week. Now a few of these cards I'm just stamping the date that it happened on, mostly just to add some interest to the card. Sometimes I do that. A lot of times I don't, but every once in a while I'll use that date stamp throughout the layout. All right, this is the part of my layout that I struggle with. So this is a photo of my daughter at the mall. Whenever we go there, she loves to ride the escalator about a million times. And so I was just writing that down. And I cut this little tiny piece of white paper and I'm going to be putting it on that polka dot card, which I think looks really cute. And I like the look of that red heart on that as well. But it doesn't really, it doesn't really fit all together. So I decide to cut another sheet of paper and make it a little bigger this time. But I'm really trying to think because I know I have these two cards that I need to work with. So I ultimately decide, well, I'll put some stamping on this card. That way I can write my story on the bigger card and, the, and then I'll have a little bit more room. So I pull out my stamps. These are all Allie Edwards stamps and most of them came from the stamp subscription that I'm a part of. The one that I end up using though is this one called Photos and you can get that from her shop on her website. And I'm using this stamp that says Life in Pictures, but I wanna break up the words into three separate lines. So I'm using that gray flannel ink again. And at first I'm just inking up the word life and getting that down onto my paper. And what, what goes wrong is I don't fully get that ink off. So I thought just stamping it off until it came clean was good enough, but it wasn't. Um, and it, it, it still, when I ink the in, you could still see some of the ink from life next to it. And then I think, well, maybe it's not a big deal. So I just continue to go with it. But when I put it in my trimmer to trim it down, the ink isn't quite dry. So it smears it. And I think, well, I'll just, you'll see here, 
it smeared it right there. And so then I just rub my fingers on it and smear the whole thing. And then maybe that was the look I was going for. But I ultimately don't like it. I cut it down a little bit in hopes that maybe it will, t it will distract from some of the smears making, you know, if I make it not as big, but I just don't like it. And I actually tried to stamp that exact same thing, I think two more times. I cut a lot of it out from the video just because I'm doing the same thing over and over again. And after the third time, I was totally fed up with it. And so I just turned the camera off and, and I thought, well, maybe I'm getting stressed out because I know I'm being watched, so to speak. So I just turn the camera off and I get it done. And when I did that fourth one and it turned out okay, I just thought I should have cut my stamp and, and put it on a block how I wanted it. That would have been the easier option. Um, so you'll see there, I have it all done. And then I'm just gluing this uh, chipboard heart on there. When it's all said and done, I think the card looks pretty cute luckily. <laughs> so it's more frustrating when you work on something so much and then you don't even like how it turns out. But And then I'm just drawing my lines around this white card and I'm getting it done. But my battery actually dies in my camera and I don't notice it until I stop to sew on my cards. So this will actually cut out. Um, but this is the only thing I do is write on this card. So you absolutely didn't didn't miss much of my process. So like I said, I take all of my cards over to the sewing machine and I get some stitching on them. Um, I didn't stitch a lot on my Project Life cards last year, but it's something that I'm absolutely loving this year. And so I don't know how long I will keep this up, but sewing on your cards if you have a sewing machine literally takes seconds. And I think it adds just so much to them. I think it looks really cute. So I'm doing some quick close-ups to show you which ones I stitched on. And I'm getting this all laid back down. So as I said in the beginning, I, I did a lot of writing on this layout. There's a lot of words. I switch a couple cards around just to break up, break up the, you know, the writing a little bit. Those last two cards I switch around. But overall, this is the layout and I'm pretty happy with it. So um, thanks so much for watching and hopefully, hopefully we'll see you guys all soon. All right, bye.